Hello, good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, traders talk. Yeah, and uh, today we have an exciting topic. In fact, it is not really a topic, but it is actually something new, which is a challenge. Which is a challenge. What we are going to do today is to actually have a free iPhone 13 challenge. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be exciting, and uh, I will be sharing with you guys how are you going to participate in this challenge yeah and uh, for those of you who are the first time here welcome welcome to traders talk uh, this is a talk where i share about uh, financial literacy and also uh, training about uh, trading the stock market using options and uh, if you could share to your friends or whoever who is actually interested to trade the stock markets then uh, this is very good information for them to uh, learn. Uh, and of course, uh, it will, I will appreciate it very much. Yeah. So um, in line today, uh, I have uh, uh, one topic uh, which I actually want to cover, which is uh, something about fear. Something about fear. And uh, this is also the uh, same topic which I actually. Uh, written in my newsletter which is about the fear cycle what this uh fear cycle is uh actually the how how fear uh how fear works and how fear affects people okay so so what i want to actually uh, share today is that uh to teach you how to actually overcome fear yeah and 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 we do this by first understanding this thing called fear cycle. Okay, what, what is this fear cycle? If you can actually see in this uh, in this chart here, right? Uh, uh, it, fear is actually fear cycle starting from fear. Yeah, and uh, to start this, maybe you could actually list down some other some of the things which you you fear, and then from there, after I actually explain how this goes, uh, then you can actually see how you can actually uh, solve your fear or get out of your uh, fears which you may have lah. yeah so so the first thing is actually uh, fear causes inaction okay what is this inaction because you are you're scared to do something right then of course uh, you won't do it you won't do it then of course uh, it moves on to inexperience which you don't do it you don't have experience to do it right and then that will actually cause an inability uh, for you to actually uh, take action or, or, or do whatever task you fear of. And this cycle actually continues and rotates, rotates on and on and on and on. And, and I, I recall uh, just a very simple example uh, when I was actually small, right? Not small, la. <laughs> when I actually started uh, secondary school, right? What happened is I study in a all boys school okay and if you know all boys school right um the boys sometimes they get boring they they want to actually know girls they want to actually court girls so so where do we go uh to actually uh uh look for girls or find girlfriends you know when you when you are young and you have all these hormones and all this testosterone coming in through your body right or <laughs> so so you need to actually uh go and uh, mix around with some girls so I recall uh, when I was in Form 1, I actually always mixed with the seniors. Yeah. And uh, there was one time where my senior said, uh, Ming Hon, let's go to a uh, fun fair. You know, you know, if you are my age, uh, fun fair in schools is actually very popular. So I don't know about now, but last time we always have fun fairs. And, and fun fairs are the place where uh, uh, boys go and meet girls meet girls is, and get to know get to know people so 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 my senior told me let's go this saturday there's a fun fair in this school called cbn cbn is convent bukit nanasa yeah if you are from kl you would know this school uh, yeah so uh we went to this school and of course uh the objective was not really to play games it was to actually get to meet girls so me being uh uh uh, uh uh just from one right uh no experience nothing 
So then uh, he says, never mind, just go hang around. Uh, if you see anyone, then just go and talk to them. <laughs> so, so I was going around playing some games. Then I saw this girl uh, uh, at this uh, class uh, having this uh, game. And I told my friend, hey, that one, that one look cute, that one look cute. So I want to get to know her. Then my friend said, just go, just go, just go and uh, talk to her. And maybe you play some games there. And then you talk to her and start chatter up. And of course, uh, for me, I, I, I don't have, uh, I scared, la, I scared, la. I'm scared. So I, I was actually not doing anything. I was just standing beside for a long time. Uh, and that actually is in action, in action. So I was not doing anything. So I was in action because I had this fear. I had this fear that um, I have, when I go and talk to this girl and this girl might reject me or laugh at me. So then uh, I was just walking around for quite a long time. And then of course, uh, this is also caused by my inexperience. I do not have experience talking to a girl or what to say. I don't have all this ex experience. And of course, this inexperience also caused inability for me to actually uh, get to know the girl. And of course, then comes the fear and, and the, this is a cycle. So it's a cycle. I was just hanging around there like a voucher, circling the class uh, until my friend said, hey, we actually need to go already. Uh, you want to get to know her now? You want to get to know her then uh, quickly just go at, and talk to her. Then, of course, uh, I sought up the little courage left in me, but I was still very scared. I was still very scared. Uh, and I just say, never mind, I just go. Uh, I'm very scared, but just go. Then I went up to that girl and said, uh, excuse me, you are very cute. Eh? <laughs> I want to uh, get to know you. Can you give me your phone number? It was literally that straight. It was literally that straight because I was very scared. So then she looked at me, stunned. Then she smiled and said, uh, okay. <laughs> Where are you from? And then we started to actually talk. So of course, uh, she gave me her number. And, uh, and I was very happy and uh, I was still very scared. But the thing here which actually happened is that if you fear something, the only way for you to get out of this fear is to face it, is to face it, yeah? So, so there's actually no, no other way for you to actually, uh, uh, for me like, at that time, if I had not faced my fear, I would not have got that number. Okay, uh, and of course, after I got that number, I, I made some calls to this girl and maybe we exchanged some letters. Uh, after that, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. It's not out, right, right out from my memory. So basically, nothing um, nothing happened. No, no, the, no relationship, nothing. Uh, but uh, it's just uh, the, 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 the experience of going through something that you fear. Yeah. So, so this is the same thing for you guys. If you fear uh, cycling, uh, if you fear swimming, if you uh, have fear of heights, uh, of you, or if you fear cockroach, yeah. So, so these are the things that in order for you to overcome, go and cycle a bicycle, go up a building and stand at the ledge, go and find a cockroach and smack the cockroach. Until you do that, um, you will not know whether you can actually get out of this fear or not. Yeah. So, so that is actually what I wanted to share uh, with you guys to start off the traders talk is that in order for you to get rid of fear, you have to face it front, face on, face your fear. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> So if you join me, then I tell you a lot of my uh, stories. A lot of my stories. Yeah, some are not so nice. Some are quite nice. <laughs> okay, great. So we go back to the serious things. Uh, okay, no more courting. No more courting girls. Uh, last week I was talking about selling. Was it last week I was talking about selling vacuum cleaners? <laughs> okay. Um, SPX S and P uh uh five hundred. Uh, if you last week was actually uh. It was actually going up again. It bounced. It bounced uh, on the fifty MA, and then it actually uh, went up. But of course, uh, uh, as I said earlier, um, 
I, I don't have a good feel that this is going to be a simple bounce. Uh, it seems that they, they still, there's still a bit more resistance uh, for the market to actually uh, push it down. Yeah. You can also see yesterday, if you, if you have actually seen the market yesterday, right? The market closed actually 12 points down. And uh, within the day itself, uh, the market was actually uh, trying very hard to actually go up. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of resistance uh, pushing it down, going up, going down, going up. So that was basically the whole night. And uh, that was just S&P 500, you see. And of course, the other markets like uh, the the oil market, the Russell, the Russell are actually up. Uh, it's only S and P uh, and also uh, Nasdaq uh, was uh, in red at the end of the day. Yeah, especially Nasdaq, like especially Nasdaq, uh, because uh, the fear of this uh, increase in interest rate is still uh, very much alive, very much alive, uh, especially. Um, when the when the uh, the uh, Fed is always indicating that uh, it might come faster, and of course, uh, when when that happens, uh, the 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 market just starts to sell off a bit, and uh, you can see that Nasdaq fell about uh, how much, hundred twenty four points yesterday, hundred twenty four points yesterday, and uh, before the show started, I also saw that the market was in red. Market was in red. So, so the market, I would say, it will still go around sideways, uh, uh, up and down this week, up and down this week. It won't be easy unless it starts to actually breach the uh, resistance level. Uh, for for Nasdaq, it's actually about uh, one five seven hundred. Uh, until it goes above one five seven hundred, I would see that uh, there is still a big down downward push on the market. But the good thing is that on the China side, on the China side, uh, it seems that uh, there are some improvements in the stocks like Baba went up for the first time after many, many weeks. Uh, it went up about $5 uh, yesterday. And uh, this morning, I think I also saw in the Hong Kong market, the uh, Baba uh, 9988 was also up was also up yeah so of course uh i would say that uh, this this might this might cause a lot of people to start to think that it's going to go up yeah but of course uh, uh it, it it might also it might also be a bull trap a bull trap uh and it might go up and come down nobody knows nobody knows but of course uh even on my side uh, i'm still holding to some uh, positions in these uh, China stocks uh, because it is all currently carried forward from uh, previous trades uh, which are still in red which are still in red but of course uh, since I'm actually doing uh, options uh, I have actually done a lot of repairs uh, and of course most of these trades I am only rolling it forward to wait for the recovery yeah, it is in losses, but uh, I can continue to actually roll this straight forward uh, to, to, to see a recovery and then uh, hopefully either break even or go into profits, go into profits. Yeah. And uh, for those who are actually doing stocks, uh, probably you would have been um, stopped, stopped out uh, when, when they had uh, so many false uh, 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 bullish uh, moment. I think there was about three, two or three times uh, for the China stocks. You thought it was going to go up, then it 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 it, it bottom again, and then you thought it's going to go up, it bottom again. You see, so so this was uh, really the trend for the past uh, one or two months on this uh, China stock. So uh, for you guys, uh, please be a bit careful if you are going into any bullish positions uh, on these stocks. Yeah. Any more things that happen? Uh, of course, the case on Apple. Uh, last week, I was actually talking on Apple. Uh, Apple continued to uh, put this uh, epic Fortnite game out, out of their store. Yeah, Despite the court asking them to allow them to do the third-party payments um, information uh, uh, inside their, their page or their game. 
Yeah, but of course, uh, uh, Apple said that uh, they are not going to allow this and uh, they will take all court means uh, to actually, they'll finish all the avenues lah, yeah, to actually um, um, prohibit them to actually do do, do that. Lah, yeah. Uh, I think Apple thinks it's actually important and um, this um, issue might cause them to lose a bit of uh, revenue out of this uh, commission earned from the app stores. Yeah? So, so that was actually for Apple. But uh, because of this case, uh, Apple has also gone down uh, a lot. Uh, and uh, maybe I can share with you the Apple chart here. Yeah, Then you can see that uh, Apple has actually came down quite a lot came down quite a lot i think the case was somewhere around here yeah it came down quite a lot and then of course uh, it recovered and uh, the recent uh, days uh, it it also yesterday also it lost about one 150 something 150 something um the max i think it went to about two dollars dropped about two dollars and pre-market i think i saw also apple was uh, down let me let me just check apple apple is yeah apple is down another 224 224 yeah 224 so so there is actually a lot of downward pressures for the uh tech stocks the tech stocks yeah uh because of the 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 fed news on uh interest and also uh tapering yeah so later i'll also explain uh this uh Apple chart. Maybe I explained about Apple chart. Lah. Yeah, if you look at Apple, right, um, I see that there is actually a, a, a support at uh, 142, 142. But I think this this might be breached uh, uh, quite soon. Lah. I mean, if it breached this 142, right, I think it can actually go down, go down uh, much, much more, much more. Yeah. So, so watch this uh, number 142. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, the, on the high side, I think there is actually a huge resistance at 150. Yeah, if you look at Apple here, it has been going sideways uh, uh, since uh, this might be about uh, uh, June or August. Uh, you see that it has been going sideways. And uh, once it actually breached 150, right? 150, it actually shot up and it could not sustain. And then it, it came down again to around 150, is it? 150, 145 was the range it was trading before the Epic case uh, came in. And then it actually uh, all went all the way down, uh, gave some comfort to the market that uh, this is not going to be so easy. Then it went up again. Then, of course, uh, the news on interest came again and, and the downward pressure continues. Yeah. So, of course, uh, it is not so easy to play Apple. Uh, but despite that, I would also want to introduce this uh, Apple challenge to you guys. Yeah. What is this challenge, actually? I did the same challenge uh, last year. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually a free iPhone 13 challenge. You know, iPhone just launched uh, the new phone. iPhone 12 was launched last year, October. This year, another new iPhone. Yeah. I I I hardly finished using my need my old 12. <laughs> now there's actually a new one. And they want you to upgrade, yeah. So, so of course, uh, uh, those people who wants to actually buy or change this, change their phone to iPhone 13, I introduce this challenge to you, where you can actually get it for free, yeah. And uh, as I said, I did the challenge last year, and uh, I got my iPhone 12, my first iPhone, uh, for free also, courtesy of Apple, courtesy of Apple. And uh, I'm going to show you today how you're going to do it. Okay, this this was the one uh, which I did last year. If you actually want to see my challenge last year, right? Uh, it is actually on you YouTube. Uh, you can actually see. Uh, let me just put the thing. Where is it? YouTube. Okay, it is actually on YouTube, lah. If you check take the picture of that link, you can actually go to. YouTube and watch this uh, uh, my game plan for a free iPhone 12 Pro, yeah, which is which is this phone, this phone which I bought uh, last year, yeah, which I got last year, not I bought, <laughs> courtesy of Apple. 
yeah and uh exactly how i did it actually how i did it is that uh i use options uh and and from the earnings uh, from the earnings generated from the the profits uh, from the profits generated by trading only apple uh, options yeah then i took the money and i bought myself a, a, a phone yeah so this year i'm going to do the same uh, i am actually going to uh, see if i can do an upgrade uh, but as i said this year it is going to be a bit challenging but no harm to actually try uh, because uh, traders don't um, don't back out just because the market is doesn't look nice yeah the same thing like i said earlier if you fear something face it and of course the results which comes out whether it is actually positive or negative it will actually uh, add on to your experience and and also um, uh, give you uh, uh, more more experience like more experience and also to to give you um, some courage to face fear yeah um, and especially if you're doing options uh, it does not matter if market goes up or down as long as you have a few um where the risks are where the risks are then of course you can place the uh trades using the proper strategies proper strategies yeah so here i think uh, i started my challenge last year uh, also around this time i started 29th of september 29th of september and uh, i think i did this challenge for about three months if not mistaken three months mistaken if you if you look here i think i did it about september october november about two months uh, about two months i i already got a profit of about thousand one uh which could buy me a iphone 12 pro back then i think the iphone 13 today is actually much cheaper than the 12 uh, and of course uh i i was a bit greedy i, I actually wanted to buy the highest specs uh, yeah but I, I forgot but i think after that i did some more some other trades and at the end i eventually ended up with the profits but i didn't do the videos uh, i actually stopped uh after doing three videos and in the three videos which uh you can actually see in the youtube channel uh i also explain uh the trades which i have actually entered yeah and uh, uh in detail uh, in detail uh, and of course if you are someone who actually wants to learn uh, uh op some new option strategy you can actually go to the video and and actually watch it yeah and and you can actually see uh right from explaining of, on the price in the charts up to the strategy how to actually execute it uh and also the risk profile uh is all shown there how much um uh, premiums i collected or i paid uh, is all shown there yeah you can actually see okay so so this year the same the same okay and of course uh what possible strategies possible strategies which i'm actually going to use is is actually a lot lah. i mean i mean um uh, it is this like bull call bear call spread bear put spread uh bull put spread bear call spread bull put spread iron condors uh jet lizard zebra butterfly broken wing butterfly synthetic stock naked put yeah so these are actually the potential strategies which uh i can actually do and trade on apple and of course how this works is that if i find a trade of course uh those people who actually register in this challenge there will be a website there will be a website which I will actually post um, here. Maybe I post it here. This is actually the website for you to register for the challenge. And how this works is that once you register for this challenge, I'm only accepting 50 people. So once you register for this challenge, what will happen is that uh, you will receive an email, a welcome email, and just to tell you what is this about in this website itself also i i show you uh maybe i just show you the the, the, the website straight on
Okay. So this is actually the website. If you actually click, you have to click. Uh, let's let let me put on the chat. Chat challenge put on the chat so you can just click it easier for you and uh, i also put the video 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 this is the video the video and the and the what is that Oops. Okay, the challenge is in the chat. Is it in the chat? No, it's not in the chat. Let me take it up. The challenge. So, if you, do you see the do you see the uh, the links? If you see the links, uh, give me a, a thumbs up. Thumbs up if you see the link. Okay, the link challenge is there. Okay. Okay, so so this is actually the challenge. What happens is that uh, if you go to that link, uh, you will be uh, you can key in your information here so that uh, you receive that welcome email and also tell you how this challenge works. Okay, this is the rules, not rules. Uh, this is rules lah. If you can see it, maybe I put it full screen lah. Don't don't need to see my face lah. Okay, so this this is how the challenge works okay we will trade apple options just apple options to generate profits to purchase yourself an iphone 13 yeah if you do want to buy iphone 13 if you want to buy android go ahead buy an android phone or whatever you want with the money you make from these gains yeah and uh when they when there are trade opportunities i will i will send you an email the one you register, I will actually send you an email. I will actually explain to you the strategy uh, and also the criteria, entry criteria and the assessment why I actually do that trade. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, uh, if, if you have some recommendations of trades which you actually want to do, you can also send it to us uh, via support at mystylework.com and our team will review the trade. And if if it is good and we feel the same as you, then we will also send it to the the uh, iPhone 13 challenges challenges, and we will put that this trade is actually contributed and recommended by by you. Yeah, um, and then uh, all the emails of the trades potential will be received via the registered email. So 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 you need to actually uh, check your emails if you see an email for the iPhone 13 challenge, uh, look at it quickly and then see whether they are actually potential for you to enter the trade. We will try to actually do it earlier. That means uh, before we do the trade, if we identify something which we intend to do, we will send it to you. But of course, the market is also fluid. We might send a notification to you at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I don't know. That is possible. Yeah. Of course, if you miss the trade, you miss the trade. Uh, if the trade comes back and it is still a valid trade for you to enter, you can actually enter on the next day. Okay. And uh, th what are the minimum requirements? Uh, of course, you need to have a broker account uh, that you can actually trade options. And uh, I would recommend for you to actually at least have a capital of $2,000. That's preferred, but not compulsory. Yeah. And... Um, uh, for those uh, who have higher buying power, in case in case we do a uh, a uh, uh, a trade with uh, more buying power, like a naked position, like a naked position, uh, then of course you can follow. Uh, if you do not have sufficient capital, don't follow. Don't follow uh, because uh, the the risks are actually quite high. And also the other thing which I want to caution the people who actually enter this challenge is to understand that trading options involve risk. If 
I, I mean, of course, for me, I do not want you guys to actually follow uh, us but blindly or follow the challenges blindly. You need to actually understand what you are going through. And of course, I will teach you the strategy first. The strategy first, I will do a video or I will do some write-ups in the email which will be sent to you. Yeah. And, and, and once you understand the strategy and why are we doing it, where are the risks for you to actually cut your position or to take profit, then uh, you can you can do it uh, once you understand all those. Yeah. And of course, uh, just some terms and conditions for this uh, challenge. Uh, and uh, this is actually solely for education purposes. Okay. And uh, of course, while we are educating people how to trade options, we also want them to um, benefit from it. La. I mean, benefit means that if you can make money, you make money. La. Of course, there's no guarantee you can actually make money. You can also lose money because this is actually part of trading. Yeah, that, that I need to be clear to you guys. And uh, the other thing is, of course, uh, if, if you participate, then, of course, uh, we would want you to share your results at the end of the challenge. The challenge would be for a period of from today up till 31st of December. We need to do a cutoff. Lah. I mean, of course, uh, if during the next three months, we can generate income to buy yourself a iPhone 13, that will be good. If you cannot, then, of course, uh, if you make a little profit, then it subsidizes your purchase. That will also be great. Yeah. So the iPhone prices are here. Uh, if you can see, uh, the cheapest one is the mini, uh, 699 only. 699 only. Yeah. If you do maybe about, I think about five, six trades, five, six trades, maybe you can actually reach there. Yeah. Five, six trades. Depending on what trade, uh, uh, if you do naked naked ones, right? <laughs> two trades will, two trades can get you there. Yeah. But of course, uh, we, we need to take care of our risk. Uh, yeah. And of course, the most expensive one is 1599. Uh, yeah. And 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 not bad, uh, 1599, you get one TB, you see. Because uh, last year when I actually got my iPhone 13 Pro Max, uh, which is only five one two. I think I paid thousand five hundred US dollar for it. Thousand five, yeah. So so now additional one thousand, you can get one TB. I think it will is is superb la, huh? But I don't think you need to go up to one TB la. I bought five one two. I probably only used two five six uh, yeah. And and you can just if you got not enough storage, uh, you can just subscribe to the iCloud and pay maybe how much. 12 or 13 dollars a month for another 200 gigabyte of space yeah so go for the 128 or 256 would be good enough right? yeah and then you subscribe for the iCloud for additional storage okay uh any more terms i wish i missed out uh understand that options involve risk and financial loss yeah this one you have to really understand before you sign your life away <laughs> And then, uh, and then, and then the other one is of course uh, my style work and is representative, which is me and my team are, are only organizing this, facilitating this, and uh, whoever joins, don't come and claim from me if if you if you if you don't make money or if you lose money <laughs> in the thing. But we will we will try to. Uh, of course, uh, uh, be safe in our trades uh, because me and, and me, I also don't want to lose money. You see? Yeah. So this is a challenge. Fill up your name here, uh, your email here, and register the challenge here. Click this button, and by registering, you will uh, be able to participate in this challenge. Even if you say you want to actually just do uh, on a demo account, on a demo account. Just to learn what we are actually doing is also fine. It's also fine. Yeah, it's also fine. It's, it's, it's okay. Uh, because we, we want to actually put this as a learning process. Uh, uh, if there are money involved, then you might be a bit stressed if you are new. 
uh, if you are already trading, if you are already trading, then assess yourself uh, whether you actually want to do this uh, challenge or not. Yeah, but I think it will be great. I think it will be great um, to actually learn uh, trading uh, and, and and know what kind of rewards or put the carrot in front of you. Lah. Yeah, like, like last year, I put the carrot in front of me. I said, I will only buy iPhone 12 if Apple sponsor me the money. Yeah. And that was the, the, the challenge I put myself. Uh, and, and had I not made the money uh, from trading Apple options, I, I would not buy my uh, Apple phone. Yeah. So if you do this to yourself, then of course, uh, um, uh, you would have a bit of drive uh, <laughs> if you want an upgrade. If you want an upgrade. Let me see. If you have any comments, any questions? Uh, if you love this challenge, uh, give me a give me a love. <laughs> Who want to participate? Give me a thumbs up so I know that uh, I have some participants uh, joining me for this <laughs> stupid challenge. Not stupid challenge lah. It is actually a good 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 learning curve. Uh, and uh, even if you don't trade, uh, take take the challenge to learn. Take the challenge to learn. Yeah, take the challenge. To learn, yeah, uh, because I will be sharing with you all the strategies, uh, which I shown earlier. All the strategies which I shown earlier. Where is the strategies? Uh, the strategies are all here. The strategies are all here. Do you know? Ah, uh, do you know? Ah. Uh, if you if you um, go you if you go and learn uh, that means you go to a class and 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 learn to trade options uh, and learn to trade options uh, to learn I'm I'm not saying I'm going to do all these trades uh, I'm not going to say and do all these trades if they are potential to enter into any of these trades if they are potential to enter into any of these trades. I, I will teach this to the challengers for free. No, no charges one. No charges one. I will teach you guys for free these strategies and I will actually explain in detail uh, how to actually work these strategies out. And of course, if you go and pay a coach to learn these strategies, you will need to pay more than thousands or two thousand dollars to learn these strategies and some of these strategies are actually advanced strategies yeah if you're talking about iron condor jet lizard zebra butterfly broken wing butterfly uh, synthetic uh, these are all advanced strategies nothing less than one thousand or two thousand dollars to learn yeah and of course uh, the others uh, the basic strategy would be the bull call spread back bear call spread uh, and the naked puts. These are the basic strategies. The bull put spread and the bear call spreads are intermediate strategies, are intermediate strategies. Yeah. So love it. <laughs> yeah. So to, to, um, you can actually do two things. Lah. Get a free iPhone. Get a free options uh, training. Get a free options training. <laughs> but no promises. If we can enter into any of these trades, we will do it within the next three months. Within the next three months, yeah. So that is the iPhone 13 challenge. Why? Why I actually did this challenge? Uh, is is because uh, if you look at the front of the <laughs> my my cover, right? There's there's a lot of hype I saw on the internet. Uh, and also a lot of advertisement about this Mumu. Mumu. Do you know Mumu? If do you know Mumu? If you know Mumu, say yes or give me a thumbs up so I know you guys know you know what's Mumu. <laughs> Nobody knows what is Mumu. <laughs> Mumu is actually a broker. It's actually a broker. Uh uh is 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 under uh photo, if not wrong. Photo is China. Chinese listed uh, company, la, Chinese listed company. They have this broker which they call Momo. Very funny name. La. Initially, initially I didn't know about it. Uh, I, I saw I saw on uh, 
uh, one of the one of the uh, uh, chat chat groups which I was actually in, and uh, this guy was saying, uh, if you want to open an account, uh, I will give you a referral code, and uh, it's actually under Mumu. I said, what's this Mumu? <laughs> I didn't know what's this Mumu, and then I said, um, I think this guy is joking la. And and if you sign up under my referral, uh, you I I will I, you will get Apple shares. They said you will get Apple shares. Initially, I thought this guy was joking, and 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 I didn't bother about it. Uh, but after some days, I started to actually see uh, advertisements uh, and also uh, more people talking about it uh, that uh, they're going to get free Apple shares trading. Uh, trading, opening account in this uh, Momo broker, Momo broker. <laughs> so I also want to do something different and to introduce you guys uh, to uh, challenge, to a challenge, yeah? so that uh, you don't need to actually open an account and get a Apple share. I think they're going to give one or two Apple share. Lah. <laughs> Maybe not. Uh, I don't know. If give one is already hundred and fifty dollars, you know, not bad, eh? <laughs> Then you should go and open a Mumu account. Yeah, <laughs> don't join this challenge. But but anyway, it's just for education. If you if you want to join, uh, I I I would love to, uh, go through this uh, challenge with you. Uh, personally, I want to actually see also um uh, at the end of three months, uh, what kind of results uh the challenges uh would actually achieve. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a positive one. If it is a negative one, uh, I will make it up to you. I will make it up to you to see how to actually um, um, uh, make back the money if you if you lose money. Uh. <laughs> so I extend to another challenge probably. Yeah. So, so uh, cool. Are you cool with this? Okay, so the site is up. Uh, let me see. Let me just check. Okay, the challenge code is here. The YouTube page is not there yet. Uh, let me just pick up again. Uh, YouTube, YouTube. There's a very lame, lame video. La. I, I, I did it the first time I actually did a YouTube video. So so if you if you see it is like a very lame, no quality. Forget, forgive me la. Challenge. No, no, where's the YouTube? YouTube is here. I put it on chat. It's in chat. Thank you. It's here. Hey, chat. Is it up? No. Post comments to see something. Yeah, it's there. Okay. And then uh, for those uh, who, who wants to actually learn more, um, uh, I have a webinar to actually uh, introduce people to trading options. And uh, where is my webinar? This is the webinar. I put it on the chat also. If you want to see me again, I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. So so that's it uh, today. This is the things which I actually want to share with you. How to get yourself a free iPhone 13 by doing the iPhone challenge trading options. Yeah. So I hope to see you in the challenge and um, I will see you next week. I see you next week on Traders Talk. Uh, and until then, uh, please remember to train, trade, and thrive. Yeah. So I'll see you again. Bye bye.